Number one, what is the difference between an average rate, an initial rate, and an instantaneous rate? Okay, so it seems like for all of these, right, whether we're talking about average rate, initial rate, and instantaneous rate, we need to know what a rate is. Now, a rate could be also called a speed of some sort, but this uh, definition is different whether we're talking about it in terms of chemistry versus physics, right? Now, a rate in chemistry, so we'll just say this, that a rate in chemistry generally is going to be only two units, right? If we think about it in terms of um, everyday life, right? And if we convert it into a speed, uh, when we're you know driving, we look at our speedometer and it says, I don't know, 60 miles per hour. That's a certain type of rate. That's a certain type of speed. It's miles per hour. And in this case, we're talking about a type of distance over a unit of time. Now, the rate in chemistry is going to be a little bit different, but the idea is that the denominator is going to be the same in regards to a time value. So, a rate value is something over a unit of time, and generally speaking, the time is going to be in seconds, right? But now, um, well, what's going to be in the numerator? Well, in chemistry, we like to see things that are progressing, right? Whether you're increasing in an amount or decreasing in an amount. And the two units that we're talking about here is either a molarity, so capital M, or a pressure unit. But for both of these rates, it's going to be either a molarity over time or a pressure over time. Okay. So now let's just talk about what it means in terms of an average rate or an initial rate or an instantaneous rate. Now, I guess let's start with an initial rate. An initial rate is basically the, the uh, rate in which, let's just talk about it in terms of molarity, in which you're, you know, decreasing in molarity or increasing in molarity, but you're starting at what time do you think? If it's initial, right? right at the start of your trial. What time do you have? Did you start the experiment yet? Mm -mm. So an initial rate is always linked to a time that didn't even start yet, zero seconds. So to sum it up, an initial rate is basically just a rate that is occurring at zero seconds. Okay, let's jump down to an instantaneous, instantaneous, instantaneous rate. Okay. Now, you're going back to that speedometer, right? Miles per hour, right? All the time that, that, speedometer is constantly changing. Maybe it's going a little bit higher because you're accelerating or maybe it's going a little bit lower, right? Um, but that speedometer is being taken at basically every second. It's adjusting depending on what the car is doing. And that's the same thing as an instantaneous right here. An instantaneous rate coming from the word instant, this is where we're only talking about a rate at one um, definite time. So it could be a rate at two seconds, right? What was that actual rate only at two seconds? That's an instantaneous rate. What was the rate, um, you know, in two minutes? What was that exact rate at that exact two minutes? Not two and a half, not one and a half at exactly two. So it's only at one definite time. So in this case, we'll say the rate that is occurring at one definite time. And basically, a initial rate is an instantaneous rate. Instant, am I spelling this right? I think so. <laughs> instantaneous rate. 
but the only difference is that it's specifically at zero seconds. That's the definite one time, right? Uh, so that's why they call it a different thing. That's called they call it in initial rate. But any other rate that's occurring at one specific time, that's an instantaneous rate. The last one is the average rate. Okay, well, we covered zero seconds, that's initial. We covered all the times in which you're only taking one time, right? Two seconds, three seconds, four seconds, five seconds. The average rate now is accumulation of time, you know, time passing. So the average, right, if you want to take an average of something, you usually take your amounts and then you divide by the total number of trials. But in this case, the average rate is over a period of time. You have to have two time values, at least two time values. So maybe this would be, you know, maybe we'll say over here, rate at two seconds, right? Or rate at four seconds or rate at five seconds for instantaneous rate. This would literally be the rate at zero seconds. But now the average rate is a rate from maybe, I don't know, one second to four seconds. That's an average rate because you're now accumulating all the data from one second to four seconds. So this is the rate that occurs over some period of time from 10 to 20 seconds, from 25 seconds to 30 seconds. But that's the whole idea here is that average is over a period of time, instantaneous is at that specific point in time, and initial is happening at zero. And that's it. I think we covered it all. A lot of rate, rate talking, but we got it going, right? So thank you for viewing the video. I hope this helped you out. Let me know in the comments, subscribe to the channel, and I look forward to helping you more in more questions, all right? I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.